Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillah, we have one couple, insha'Allah. They are Sri Lankan by origin. They are living in Oxford and United Kingdom, insha'Allah. They're going to introduce themselves. Insha'Allah, we're going to talk with them regarding the Sri Lankan Muslim minorities attack to recent uh, violence, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam. Masha'Allah, brother, introduce I'm, yourself. Uh, Muhammad Himaz. I'm originally from uh, Colombo in Sri Lanka. We came here in 2002 uh, and we started our life. So I'm a software consultant working for many big companies in the UK. Alhamdulillah, we are settled and this is my wife. Alhamdulillah. I'm Rizana and uh, I'm an economist. Uh, Mashallah. Where do you work, sister? Uh, I work at a university in Oxford. So I work at Okay, MashaAllah. Very happy to be with you, MashaAllah. And as a Sri Lankan, as a Kapaz, just recently moved to UK, like 18 years ago or 16 years ago. And you have the families and friends in Colombo and uh, any other part of Sri Lanka. So, it's only our family came to UK. All my parents and my siblings all live in Sri Lanka. Uh, Mashallah. And the recent attack on Sri Lankan Muslim minorities in Kendi and Ampara. And how do you feel when you heard the news? I grew up in Colombo and then we all, uh, it's a place where you have uh, Muslim, Sinhalese and Tamils all live in harmony. So I went to a school which has all three uh, communities and then we never felt uh, of attacking each other. We all lived as uh, 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 brothers and sisters and, and we all helped each other and uh, I'm very uh, saddened and hurt because for some, uh, some petty uh, reasons they are doing this and uh, trying, to, trying to create a, a situation which faced in 1983 where that was the day I was uh, about to do my O-level uh, exams at school and uh, you know we went through this uh, of a real uh, uh, sad situation where one community goes and attacks uh, uh, another a minority group and as a repercussion of that we suffered for 30 years and that was the main reason that we left that country because we couldn't find a proper uh, a job to suit our uh, professions. So Alhamdulillah we came here. What I feel is, we don't, I don't want this situation happening again because we might attack and there could be another war, another separatist war and this time the world is watching and it may be a bad, uh, 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 bad uh, uh, result for Sri Lanka because, uh, uh, because every time I speak to a, a friend over here they basically say that country never changes. So I, I feel that should not be the case again. And I feel really sad for my uh, brothers and sisters uh, because I have many fr friends. Most of them are Sinhalese and uh, uh, Sinhalese and a few uh, Tamils. But they also feel the same way as I feel because they are not learning the lesson that they uh, uh, had before. So. That, was, that is how I feel. Yes, mashallah. Uh, sister, we, as a Sri Lankan lives in abroad, alhamdulillah, we contributed to Sri Lankan community, Sri Lankan government, Sri Lankan economy very much. How do you feel this sort of incidents, you know, like uh, violence and the racist attacks again and again, year and year happening, how much affecting the Sri Lankan economy? As an economist, you can answer this one. Well, I think it is a very sort of deep dent that it will make to our GDP. So 30 years of war had a very severe repercussion in terms of infrastructure investment, investment in human capital, investment in social cohesion. So there have all been all these negative impacts on our overall growth rate, and not just in terms of GDP, but in other factors as well. And forgetting all that and then starting it almost all over again, uh, just means that it will be nothing else but a downward spiral in terms of all these indicators as well. Okay, the countries which is which are try to you know like invest in Sri Lanka, maybe they will have the precaution now. Definitely, I mean it will have an impact on investment. It will have an impact on tourism, 
and it will have an impact indeed, a negative impact on, on all these things, all these other types of occupations and jobs as well. Yes. Regarding this one special question, regarding, you know, the many people saying the Muslims of Sri Lanka are well in the economic side. And these are racist attack, they are targeting the properties and the economy of Sri Lankan Muslim. And how do you feel that? I think, I mean, I too grew up in a community that was very multinational and multicultural. Um, and the common man in Sri Lanka, the common Sinhalese person, the average Sinhalese, the average Tamil, the average Muslim, I don't think is imbued with this sort of racist uh, impulses. It is just the actions of a few that is causing this. And so it's very difficult to generalize about what motivates this, and I think that requires uh, more careful thinking. But I think on average, the average person, I think, is, is, behaves like a brother or a sister. Mm. What do you think, how can we stop this sort of uh, violence and attacks in Sri Lanka? What is your opinion? I will say no proper education because uh, one of the things that I noticed uh, because I work in a place I am the only uh, Muslim person but everybody else are Sinhalese people even in the UK they all feel the way that I feel because what they are doing is basically uh, uh, barbarism and they are basically uh, terrorist in from their words because a small people are going and terrorizing a small uh, uh, community for uh, for no reason. If you if you take there are uh, uh, there are well of Muslims and there are well of uh, poor Muslims. In the same way, single is also happen. So the only thing is uh, the the single is people the, the people over there needs to be educated. Uh, Say you know just by going and burning and uh, damaging properties of another a minority, that is not going to make their lives better. That's going to bring their lives down because in the Tamil uh, Sinhalese war, we all got degrees, but when we came out of the university, not a single job that suited our qualifications were there in Sri Lanka. And because of that, Sri Lanka had a very, uh, very uh, nasty bra brain drain most of the, our uh, bachelors of the country and now in another 10 years time when Sri Lanka really develops this brain the people are the ones that are needed to build that country if you don't have the good people and people who think wisely they will leave and that will again uh, won't make any effect for the growth of the nation uh, for example you know in India lots of people went when India was developing, those people who went are the ones who are going back to uh, your hand for that country. So, do, uh, the, my message for the uh, Sri Lanka is to, you know, uh, we need to educate the uh, people. And also, you know, we have lived in a harmony and uh, make uh, good neighbours. Uh, so, the neighbours and then make sure when these vandals come, we all get together and make a stand saying, you know, you don't uh, come and do this to our community and chase them off. So, un otherwise, you know, these people will take their, uh, head, uh, you know, uh, political or otherwise their personal issues and destroy the whole nation. Uh, so that's my message. Uh, mashallah, sister, uh, the, finally, whatever the message you want to give to Sri Lankan Muslims in Sri Lanka or the people uh, who are living in UK or the wider community, what is I, the message? I, I think it's education. We need to educate each other about each other's faiths and beliefs, beliefs so that we can live more tolerantly. Mashallah. So we, need to, we just need to learn about how we worship, what we worship, not, not just our own religions, but our own religions. Okay, mashallah. Just one more thing, you know, uh, we should open up our mosques and invite uh, uh, them also to come and have a look at it, have a, uh, education about our religion yes. and uh, get them know and then. Mm. Alhamdulillah, very good message, yes, mashallah, given to us and also the people who are living in Sri Lanka. And the final question for you, as a professional, and how you can help the community in Sri Lanka? 
what uh, I basically do is uh, uh, we are doing uh, messages like you know, among our friends you know we are trying to because people come and ask us that's something so we tell them you know uh, get a uh, give them a good understanding so uh, from the international wise you know we speak to our MPs and say you know uh, there is something where so we make them educated you know we are and you know uh, the way that we can we give some uh, uh, whatever the way we do, donations or whatever we help them in that way mashallah jazakumullah khairan brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah, we had a, one of the wonderful couple from Oxford all the way. Jazakumullahu khairan for this opportunity. Inshallah, may Allah give you, inshallah, abundantly. And also may Allah reward you and have a safe journey. Jazakumullahu khairan. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.